My name's Tom Bull. Um, we farm, our main farm is Kinross, but we have five different farms at Holbrook in southern New South Wales. Total area for four and a half thousand acres, running a bit under 11,000 fully recorded ewes with a few cows and a little bit of cropping as well. We've been here on this farm for 20 years. We moved before that, we're out west at Narandra. We've had Tapari for nearly 20 years. We've got some of the older models and have upgraded over time. As we've selected sheep for muscle, they've got a lot stronger, particularly some of our terminal breeds. Yeah, you know, the short muscle fibre increase, they're harder to handle. You know, you put our doors in a race and try and drench them now, they're all, they get their head to the bottom and they're very hard to get up. The race wells have done a pretty good job being able to contain them and making a pretty simple job. So today the team is splitting up the ewes uh, based on index into joining groups, something we do a fair bit, that's based on using the electronic tags and um, their breeding values come up on the screen and um, they split into two. We've had very little issues. We can get them serviced. We have someone coming once, twice a year to service them or as needed. And that's a big thing for us, getting them actually, you know, maintaining them. And secondly, we just have very little downtime. They seem to work pretty well. And that's over four machines that handle a lot of sheep, you know, on a weekly basis. We crutch in it, you know, we give vaccines in it. A lot of our recording, you know, we do a lot of joining. We single side join 11,000 ewes. So they're often going through there. We've got the true test screen set up. So every time a sheep comes in, it's full range of breeding values come up. It's pedigree and, and that's really handy to be able to efficiently look at your sheep, whether you're mating them or classing them or whatever. We find they run pretty well into the machine. We've got pretty good forces. Our sheep are pretty bare, so we don't need to tip them on their side too crutch. We can do basically a glorified bunghole just standing up and that works pretty well. Very rarely do we put the sheep through and do one job. Typically we might be looking at figures, we might be classing, evaluating sire lines, so speed for us isn't necessarily king. Every time you put those sheep through the machine, how you can value add what you do. One of the biggest things in sheep, if people really dread a job, they're likely to put it off. And you know, drenching high muscled sheep in a drenching race, yes you can do it, but all of a sudden if you've got to do tens of thousands, it becomes a pretty hard job. And I think really a lot of the stuff we do, we want to look at low skilled labour. You know, you need to be able to operate sheep systems with low skilled labour. So, you know, drenching huge amounts of use in a drenching race is, you know, a high skilled job. So we tend to think, you know, the sheep handle just to be able to change the labour in which we use. I think uh, having a good sheep handler is becoming more and more important for a modern sheep business. And I think just having technology that works and works every day is really important and said certainly Tapari have done a pretty good job of doing that for us.